Oh, that's new. You guys are, you guys are down here now. The from what I see on the the live stream preview, you're you're below the screen now. One second. Oh shit. Sorry. Lots of things on my desktop. Why, why is my why is my little text box appearing there that's not right I don't want that I gotta fix this that's dumb You don't need to see that. I can crop it. There we go. That might work. There. That should be a little better. Yeah. What was the Sherlock Holmes game? Like all of them before this one. <laughs> the with teleporting creepy Watson. Okay. <laughs> I know it's been a long time. Uh I remember virtually nothing about what we were doing. I know we were at a morgue. But in all honesty, I don't remember how the 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 places we've been connect to one another. I don't know if there's even any like overarching story yet. Yeah, I'm lost, and I don't think there's any. Uh, I don't think there's any journal. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Hang on. I, I do know that that Holmes is acting fucking crazy. And I remember the main menu has a jump scare. Watson, dude, are you okay, man? Am I in your spot? You just... All right, brother. Let us go to the secretary's office. Oh, have you given up already? Are you done? Are you done having an attitude? Thank you. Hang on, I can't I can't see who who did that. Who donated? I can't see your name. Crimson Tracks. How do I make this bigger? How do I pop out the chat? Hang on. Pop out chat. Better. There we go. I say hands are in my way, sir. Oh, and, wa and Holmes walks so slow. Closed. Well, open it. Closed. Closed. Locked. I can feel a draft. This must be the access to the inside yard. Oh, pr okay. Thank you, tutorial. He's dead. Oh. Where's the secretary's office? Sorry, but this area is prohibited without a pass. Please leave. I never. This is the entrance to the ordinary. Hey, we're not ordinary. We're special people. Thank you, Daryl. Did I just go backwards from where I was supposed to go? 
I believe I did. Closed. Closed. I did. Anything else, gentlemen? No. Thank you. The director's off. What? You just told me to go there! This small I don't know what to do! Hot tea! Hot tea! Hot tea! Score! Let's go to the high security area, Holmes. Yes, I've I've been dying to see the high security area. It's the one place I didn't want to go. to the high security. Yeah, obviously. Oh. Can somebody give me a key? Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. Well, this is official business. Sorry, but Thank you, brother. I need a fucking key. Uh, this cannot be my life. This cannot be the way this all ends. I need a key. The direct, the direct. But I can't go. Who do I talk to for a key? This is already infuriating. Closed. Sorry, sirs. Do I, maybe I already have it. Nope. Wait, a pass. I have a pass. I have a hall pass. Ah, you got a pass for just, high security area. My psychic area. my psychic paper. <laughs> it is about the signing in book. Well you can't sign in without a pass. Thank you, Amir. This information board is almost empty. Strange, in view of the activity in the prison. It is potassium nitrate, isn't it? Mmm. Yes. So be aware. I often have some in my tea. Brains! Peter James, Chief Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. Oi! I imagine I will find Hans Schielman behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this the only access? No, it was a door that you just saw. The end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Thank you, Chief Warden. At your service. Everyone here looks like a pale, grim specter. I guess that's England, though. Mr. Holmes, I am a huge admirer of yours. I have followed all your cases and successes. Why have they got a cat of nine tails up there? What enthusiasm! Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Well, this isn't the police. What? Oh. I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying hard for the examination to get into police school. The prison's going out of business. Thank you, Columbo. There's another Tex Murphy game? Like, after after this last one? Tell oh, God. The prisoners, Warden James. We only have a few. As you might be aware, the days of this place are numbered. Therefore, we no longer receive new prisoners. You've solved all the crimes, Holmes. Here are among the most dangerous in London. We have three at the moment: Hans the Rat Killer and the Flint Brothers. The Flint Brothers. Yes. Their relation. They massacred their parents, decapitated their neighbours. It took more than nine policemen to overpower them. Anyway. There isn't any information on the notice board. Should there be notes about duties? Yes, there should be, but, but I can't type. Patterson hasn't put up the guards' assignments for this week yet. It's not like her. Usually, she does it first thing in the morning. Without these instructions, the guard in the basement won't be changed. I would go and get them, but I don't want the director to catch me there. He's very strict. Doesn't like us wandering around when we're on duty. But you're on official business. Like, he can't yell at you if you're working. How does not having the information about guard duty stop you from ensuring the watch in the basement? Because of the 
system of opening the doors, Mr. Holmes. As you can see, they are equipped with a mechanical timer which answers to a code. You made it a puzzle? The timer stops, that is to say, at the end of each watch, the doors block automatically and the code is reset. It is therefore impossible to open Game is the door low, okay. New code. And who has the code? Only the guard who takes the new watch. He's the only one who can open the envelope that it's kept in. He learns it by heart and destroys What is this? Message. Nuclear launch codes? But let's look at the limits of this procedure. One false note and the system falls apart. Thank you. Well, I'll just work here. I don't make the rules. There, we're louder. This should help. This device must be the alarm. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. Yes, the famous high security area. Yes, the famous well renowned high security. At your service, sir. Thank you, Tigor. Good morning, Warden. I have a pass which allows me to speak with prisoner Hunts. Very well. It is the cell at the end to your left. <laughs> I'd advise you to walk in the middle of he's, the corridor. He's doing it. He's John Hurting. Warden? I mean, they were going to find at the end of the hall, sir. Now we must turn our keys simultaneously. Dude, you are way up in my personal space. I can smell your cunt. <laughs> Thank you, Abbrit. I require some information from you. I'm digging my rat's grave. So, who do we have here? The celebrated Sherlock Holmes himself. <laughs> do you know that for all the time I have spent rotting in here, rotting? you are my first and only visitor. I think this is cause for celebration. A confrontation between two geniuses, two extraordinary minds. I am afraid that you are not quite as great a chemist as you believe you are. And I don't believe you're really German. I not say that you never were. No, it was certainly true once. But then I hit this science! While you are whiling away your days in here, it appears that someone on the outside is at the point of surpassing you, if that is not already the case. Yes, I heard about that. A chemical poison. We have ways of making you talk. Hysteria. I recognize that. Recognize. It, but it's only a matter of time before I win back my laurels. Believe me. What can you tell me? I will create a race of werewolf. Bring to me. And soon my robot army will scour the earth. And claim it in the name of the Fourth Reich! What do you want? <laughs> because you kill people? I am given nothing but a hunk of bread. And even then, not just any sort. The this kind they get at Subway! Interrupt me! <laughs> Where was I? Oh yes, the bread. The bread. <laughs> With a little rye yeast, a pinch of moss, certain cockroach secretions. Not all of them. Just enough light and damp. And a few other ingredients that I will keep quiet about. I succeeded in poisoning half the staff here. Really? Go on. <laughs> Unfortunately, a little something was omitted, which would have made the results fatal. Instead, it merely caused acute attacks of stress and powerful hallucinations. How did you harvest cockroaches? Crap. So I got a great laugh out of watching them cry like babies cry. when they saw their most primitive fears materializing before them. <laughs> you are a monster, Mr. Shieldman. What an extraordinary performance. It wasn't a compliment. But of course it was! Of course! that you cannot comprehend you call me a monster because what you find impossible to face is just the slightest fraction of my fraction life. if 
By monster, you mean someone who is nothing like you? Nothing. <laughs> then it is a compliment. I don't know how to follow this performance. I, I really don't. What do you need? Very little. Just something to write with. Oh. You see my brain. Just brain a crate of cockroaches. I see them crackle and explode oh. into thousands of formulae right in front of me. And a million of those little spoons that you get to sample ice cream out of. What a hell to see them vanish just as quickly as they appear to me. Just bring me something that I can write with. You can rip your fucking That's thumb cool. off. You could that write with that. an easy enough request to fulfill. At least, I don't want the vulgar ink. You just said anything. No, I need material fit for my talent. I want my ink pen. Bring it to me, and I will be happy to pass on to you a little of my knowledge of modern chemistry. Why are we here? Where is it? It was confiscated upon my arrival here. I suppose it might be in my locker, in the locker room. Leave me now, Ugh. and don't come back without my ink pen. You know, here's a thought. This is just crazy. <laughs> Maybe the guards might have helped you and given you your ink pen had you not fed them cockroach shit. See you soon, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, can you let me out, please? Ward. Let me out. Weird. I'm glad you've been the prisoner things. Can you tell me where I might find the locker room? Now there, with the door that has a sign on it, it says locker room. That's where the prisoner's civilian stuff is held. But seeing the length of their sentences, they've little chance of ever getting it back. Can I have it? Can you open the locker room for us? We would like to inspect Shieldman's personal items. No, Mr. Holmes. I'm not responsible for that. You will find the keys in the secretary's office. See you later, uh, Mr. Holmes. This seems like an unnecessarily hoop unnecessary hoop to jump through. Thank you, Ash. And yes, it is a mighty beard, which I will soon be shaving. Miss, may we borrow the keys to the locker room? You will need authorization from the director to open it. We will wait, thank you. Ah, uh, now let's just wait. Oh, I thought we were gonna wait. I wanted to wait. Really, is that it? That was- Anything new? Mr. Holmes, have you been able to get what you wanted from our lodger? Not yet. We must first cast He's quite the actor, though. Point. And for that, we require your help again. What can I do? We need to examine Shieldman's civilian clothing. Very well, but be extremely careful. Make you look dashing? <laughs> In that madman's compartment, you will find a strange little coded case which refused point blank to open when he was in custody. Did you try a hammer? We did try to force it oh. without success. Didn't you ask the experts? Of course we did. Experts from Scotland Yard came to examine it, but they came to the conclusion that it's better that the case remains shut than tamper with it too much. You mean it was too hard? I see. They were afraid that some poison or other might escape if it was opened. Exactly. Bear in mind that this man is an evil genius, a master poisoner, and that his poisons are never ordinary. Right. Here's the key to the locker room. I give you the authorization to open it. Good. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Miss Patterson, the guards are still waiting for you to put up the duty list. Do it as soon as possible. Without it, the changing of the guard cannot take place. We can go now. Or had you forgotten? The last two guards starved to death when you forgot to post the change. <laughs> He wasn't that mean. Dry your tears, miss. He I'm really was actually fairly civil. Mean to hurt you. Mr. Watson, I can't put up the duty list. And when he finds out, he'll be furious. Why can't you? It's in my locker, in the cloakroom. 
and I've lost the key. Did you try a hammer? Say no more, Holmes. As you keep repeating, time is against us. Let's go and look at the things in the rat killer's locker. Not our problem, Holmes. How do I? I can't escape. Oh, wrong door. Thank you, Daryl. But yeah, it is Daryl. <laughs> Clearly, I wasn't listening. Closed. Closed. There we go. Watch this. This container. It's just gonna contain a dead rabbit. This solid box. This solid box must hold my contain. It must contain my secrets. As soon as the catastrophe came to be known, the alarm from mouth to mouth was blown. As the cry rang out all over the town, good heavens, the, the Tay Bridge is blown down. And the passenger from Edinburgh, which filled people's minds with sorrow, made more trip A poem in Hans's handwriting. Dear Lord. Terrible. Blotting paper. Blotting paper. Yeah, 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 I get it. Tweezers. I can't do Nothing of interest. Nothing of Nothing of interest. I only look at this uh, periodically, you know. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure. I'm trying to. A poem. Yeah, 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 yeah. A poem. Soon as the catastrophe came to be known. It's okay. The really intense music is not helping me. I guess anything to do with putting them in order. Oops, that's not right. That's not right. <sighs> A poem. I damn it! I keep clicking the wrong button. Yeah, why didn't you tell me there was a fucking code lock and you A poet. That's not 
that's not good. Have you figured it out yet? Has something to do with the apostrophes? That had occurred to me, but I can't find the very first letter that I would need. Well, yeah, they're all E's, though. Nothing of it. Nothing of Nothing of Nothing of I fail to see how this has any significance. Nothing. the warp whistle. Nope, that's not it. I keep having ideas and that's not what I'm... No, the blotting paper didn't seem to interact with anything. Hang on a second. Maybe there's something else in this room. This. What should we do next, home? Why don't you take a crack at it, you dumb asshole? What could you- Hot tea! Hot tea! Sorry, Mr. Rome. For what reason? Why? The door has locked itself automatically. We must enter a new security code. Why don't you just put a wedge in the door? Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorized. Crowbar. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security. System. That's right. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. He craps in a bucket. Why ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to. I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration. I thought he was in charge. Anyway, the bar's in the high security section. I get it, I get it. The guards must spend long hours here. There's keys. Give me keys. It is, yes. These weapons are obviously ready to use in case of emergency. Or a sudden bear attack. It is the guard's guest book. Perhaps for distinguished guests. But none of this has any relevance to anything. Pay. 
is something interesting here. A little hole. There is some. There is something. There is. There is some. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Oh. I can't. I. I can't do that. Blotting paper. Blotting. Yes, but. This... Uh. I want to. Blotting. Blotting. There is. Damn it. Blotting. Blotting. This cannot be a simple Oh, Jesus Christ. Why can't I? Oh. Okay, this was far less sophisticated than I thought it was. What is written on that note, Holmes? Nothing. Later. Nothing. Later. It's filthy. We can give Hans his pen. That's not made of wood. Oh, but we can't, though. We don't have the guest book. And apparently my keys have... Uh, Watson has swallowed my keys. Closed. What a bunch of incompetence. Oh, if I was as unprofessional as that, there would be murderers running all over the town. I should take my revenge on all of them. Very amusing. I was going on about the dry cleaners in Westgate Street. They've just delivered my ceremonial uniform. Your prison this ceremonial uniform? And I've told them a thousand times not to bring it until after six in the evening. A ceremonial uniform? You've been promoted? No, and that's not about to happen. No, I've been invited to a wedding. I, I mean, I hope to be... Mine, I'm in trouble. you know. If the director sees that I've left my post, I'll be sacked without pay. Give it to me, Warden Brighton. I'll take care of it for you. Really? Thanks a lot. Here's the key to the cloakroom and that of my locker. I'm really grateful, Mr. Holmes. I stole it from that stupid bent what secretary. You mind, Holmes? You're not doing this out of kindness, are you? No, we're looking for things no, to steal. Out of curiosity, we will be able to access the cloakroom with these keys. Free money. Free baking soda. My carbonate of soda. Brighton must have an upset stomach, caused by stress, without a doubt. Sure. The name on the key is Jenny Patterson. She. That is interesting. Engraved her name on a key. My cop. I need. I need something. That settled a lot. My My carbon. Could set it on fire. My Found your stupid key. Don't ask where I got it. Here, take your fucking key. God. Closed. Closed. There's 
There's no other doors. Well, maybe I talk to the guard here. Maybe he'll give me money. Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. I can't help you. Well, then, I don't even get like a reward, like a Twinkie or something. At your See it? No, I can't. Ugh. Oh. It was key juggling. See if she left any frilly things or bras or panties. The lock on this oh. is rather sophisticated. Incredible. Is Jenny hiding something? <sighs> All right. <sighs> You're not even going to give me a hint, are you? Guessing, no, no, I don't know. I'm guessing so all the colors have to touch similar colors. Can't be right, though. That could be a start. I did it. I yes, think. Yeah. Very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. Unless she lost one of those little pieces, in which case she's hosed. Jenny Patterson, Frank Brighton. A single heart with two souls and eternal love. A locket sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your ass is amazing. I hope to tap you. Never mind the consequences. Your father will have to accept the fact that we're in love. Think about a baby and don't forget. I love you, 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 I love you. And I've written you a poem. <laughs> I've written you a song. Jenny Patterson, your heart pounds. Mine weighs a ton. Our love has no bounds. It just goes on and on. I was inspired by the great Chinese poets to write it. Yeah, you know, like those haikus they write in China. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. Barely literate. Jenny, 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 who do I turn to? And it seems that Jenny's father, the director, is unaware of Let's this. blackmail him, Watson. Here is the famous guard duty. The list. famous. Interesting. Thank you, Jeff Andy. You inspired me to finish this puzzle. Do you mind if I keep that letter, Holmes, uh, for purposes? Reasons. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and <laughs> them to the guards. Thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. We have found... Oh, thank 
No reward? Come on. Yeah, just write a new card. Right? Exactly, Cobra. We have found Chief Warden James's duty. How'd you get those? You steal them? Thank you, Mr. Owens. Let's see. O'Sullivan, you takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. Once you've memorized the code, swallow the contents of this envelope. In the event of capture, cyanide capsules will be distributed among the guards to be placed under the tongue like so. Ah, Mr. Rose, could I ask you for a favor? Please do. I think I can say on behalf of all the staff that we would be honored if you would care to write something in our guest book. Don't do it, it's a death note. How, how do you write again? I've, I've forgotten. Good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. Did he just do a Jedi mind trick? Is something worrying you? Something is worrying me. Westgate Prison will soon be demolished, and I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. <laughs> There's an exam to join the London police? Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent, and motivated men. But you'll do. Would a recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes recommending me for Scotland Yard? Are you quite serious? If it will get you to Can shut up, you up yes. Young friend, may I use this writing paper? The one on your desk. Thank you, thank you, Trax, and no, I've never used the a Fate Core RPG thanks, system. Mr. Holmes. A million! It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Yeah, right. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. That's right, Abstruse. All you need to do to be a Bobby is to say, Oh, no, 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 no. what's all his sin? At your service, Mr. Holmes. It's a fair cup. A what? what? I would love to eat her liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Well. Well. Have you ever thought of writing a musical, perhaps, Herr Shieldman? You're writing instruments. You have what you wanted. Your precious pen. And now I can stab people with it. Mr. Holmes, I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. Thank you. I'm not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? Are you hiding your robotic emotions? You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine at this moment. <laughs> the poison. Which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired result. I need to squeeze more cockroaches. Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course. This science! The creator's pro. She blinded me! So much the mixture as the durability of his creation. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you see, this poison was made using rare, but rare? volatile, short living compounds. Like bologna! Means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. Not without a refrigerator, or at least an ice cooler. In a laboratory especially built for the purpose 
could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions <laughs> the substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny, but I, I like doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. Uh. He would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. <laughs> Right. You will tell me, Herr Watson, when the lamb stops screaming. So this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. And have the wardens beat him mercilessly with truncheons. And don't tell anyone I intend to escape. Hogan! It is out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. <laughs> Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me. Well, then go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I... I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this small family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of marrying my daughter, but Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Do you really believe that he's Have you met the guy? Because I must make an official report and have a legitimate reason for doing a search. Since when have the London police in this area in this era needed a reason to do anything? Think of the consequences of an escape. It would be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape from Back the in the day, Patterson, I will order an immediate search of Mr. Shieldman's cell. Back in that day, you had like no rights. Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shieldman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Except for Hans Shieldman. Thank you, Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. Jenny. Wait for me in the guard's room. I'm oh, he's going to get some. I just have to go get my dick wet. Thank you, Cyclops. I witness you. Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh, <laughs> that look on his face. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the rat killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit. Warden Brighton, in my office immediately. That's an order. Someone's in trouble. The director seems furious. Yes, it must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ha! You did you hear that? How could I not? It's not normal. I've never heard Flinch shout like that. But why does no Sullivan sound? Because that was the sound of him getting killed. I'll come with you. No, Doctor Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait, 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 wait! They just opened the door. I thought they couldn't just do that. Chief, we've been locked in, and that smoke—it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? <laughs> our security Sully. system has been our undoing. Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. Oh, Sullivan might be in danger. You control, Doctor Watson. Work. Well, even in the future.
The door is locked, and I can hear shouting. And Holmes is beating the crap out of her. Some family drama, so there's no chance of them hearing me. I doubt that's true. Besides, Watson, you have a gun. I'm a sound. I'm a sound. There is nothing. There is. N there is. Tech support. There is nothing. Tech support. There There is. There is. N well, I guess they're gonna die. It do Why doesn't it work? I would love to. All right, that's the third phase of our security system. Hey, what are you waiting for to sound the alarm, Doctor? It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor and see if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. <sighs> This door is blocked by the timer, but not the one below. Give me the keys, quickly! Quickly! It's useless. The I have no choice, right? We. I've got the keys, Doctor. Thank you. Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. Why? Just go outside and yell for help. Finally, there you are. Home. Was that supposed? Wait, 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 wait. Was that supposed to be the guard? that I threw the keys to? Even though he was obviously that Shieldman guy? Like, I was supposed to believe that was the guard. Even though he was like, Quickly, Dr. Fortune! Hand me the keys und quickly! He's real. That was a trick? That was supposed to be a trick. Wow. What the fuck? You make sure of the contact. I hope that this Whoa! Is Not even in the space age. Fuck is going on. It works. It's like Frogger, but in a circle. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flints are out. We are trained for this sort of situation. And we're armed. Don't With clubs. Help. Everything is back to normal. Oh, well, we're just going to skip that exciting action sequence. It was a pleasure. But where is O'Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out for the visitor center. Right. Yes, and he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. He hasn't been... We must now check all the cells. It's the procedure in case of an alarm. He hasn't been flayed alive and then hung from the ceiling without his skin. You're evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. He's not in there. I know this. Apparently they don't know how to count prisoners. The the grate is open. This is alarming. This... He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. Right. How can he sleep with all this noise? Because he's My gone! Normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take Wow, him. Watson, you are slow. He's dangerous. Oh, God. He's dead, I know. Da, da, da! O'Sullivan, it's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. 
Or else, or else it wasn't O'Sullivan. No! Good. He's escaped. The rat killer is escaped. You can't count to three. There were three prisoners. You got to two, and they were like, it seems to all be in order. Christ's sake. This is alarming. Ah, Holmes, there you are. Hans has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. <laughs> Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me. Why the devil have you brought me behind the prison? To kill you. An appointment, Watson. So you let the guard get killed. You you let him shank the man with a pen. So you could meet this guy. Shieldman, I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. He's harmless. He is not. But but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? He says he's because sorry. I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Boop, boop, Holmes, boop, boop, you boop, made boop, me an accomplice in this escape. You <laughs> owe me some explanation. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. <laughs> I suppose you know what you're doing. What? This How is puppy cop. Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find Holmes? you? Holmes! Someone's going to jail, Holmes, and it won't be me. Do you hear me, Holmes? I think it would be better to go back to Baker Street. All right, I will join you there. Yeah, we just... We're, you realize we're accomplice to murder. <laughs> Felt the impatience of my friend's look, however... He delayed relaying to me the details of his incredible achievement. He began by telling me about Hans Schielman's fountain pen. And this is what he said. Uh, he said, Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I can quote it to you from memory. Whoever's smart enough to open this case should know that a couple of drops from my masterpiece are mixed together with the ink inside this pen's reservoir. If you are reading this, it means me in a tight spot, so that I'm special ink will be bleed, blah, blah, blah. It will destroy the will of anyone it touches. Therefore, you have a few precious seconds during which you can shape the subject. It has mind control juice. Helped him to escape, but I would also keep him under control. First move is to persuade the director of his next try to search the cell. He still murdered a man! Yeah, I get, I get this. He still murdered a guy. Oh, oh my God! For nothing. Oh, they didn't find anything. Sherlock Holmes isn't a nice man. It's like he? pathologic. I think I like him now. Look what I found. I found a gun! Don't oh my god! We don't like him, but you shouldn't hit him like that. Give that back! It's only a doll! This is Sherlock Holmes' attic. All this must have belonged to him. I He's... don't know what happens next. Keep reading. He's taught them violence. Three trails and two dead ends. The poor nephew is dead, but Baines has the bishop's murderer. Ah, yes, the, the bishop. The one left is the rat killer. Have you questioned him? No. <laughs> May I ask when you're going to do it? No. I found him. But he was the, 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 but, the, but he was again. just the Yes, but this time it's not your fault, nor mine for that matter. It's the Jews. In using me, Holmes, I unwittingly aided one of the most dangerous criminals in the kingdom to escape. So please tell me why. An explanation would be futile. It would only lead to further pointless questions. You're fired. But do you have even the slightest notion of where he might be hiding? <laughs> this is so Get weird. For the moment, Watson. Just concentrate on the fact that the bishop is on the chessboard. 
In any case, the news has spread like wildfire. Don't know why I married you, Holmes. All the papers are talking about it. And the Globe Explorer, their editors must be jumping for joy. Let the dogs bark with the pack, Watson. But how could Farley be so well informed? Hot tea! He also mentions our visit to the opium den. And in great detail. How did he know? Let me see. Contrary to what you might think, Watson, I do not consider that all of our trails have led to dead ends. We're simply missing a common denominator, something that links them together. And our journalist's mystery informer might just be that missing link. Should we attempt to uncover his identity? It is essential that we do so. <laughs> man, we must talk to Mr. Farley. Ah! So why didn't... Why didn't Holmes talk to the guy that we just spent all that time breaking him out? What is happening? Find Farley's office on the map. Fine, I'll do it. There's the map, but I can't interact with it. Ah. Why, it's the only thing marked, Holmes! Here we are at Farley's office. <laughs> I cannot say that ethics play a very large role in his life. Look at the headlines pinned to the walls, like trophies of bad taste. Perhaps we will finally begin to understand the reasons for his persistence in tarnishing your reputation. It doesn't need any help from him. Perhaps. We're, we're doing a plenty good job of tarnishing our own reputation. This is an electric box. Interesting. Not really. I cannot leave now. This door is locked. Ah. Is Farley afraid of being interrupted suddenly? Maybe he just likes privacy. Or I'm sorry, privacy. This door... This door. How about knocking? Have we tried knocking? Cigarettes, an ordinary, inexpensive brand. A press card. Just Watson search his clothes. Harvey. It's his overcoat. I must go out for a while, Miss Jean. I won't be long. Ask my appointments to wait, and send this message as a matter of urgency. Leonardo Mr. DiCaprio. Farley, I presume. Messrs. Holmes and Watson. What Mrs. Is Holmes? What? Oh. What is there so surprising about being visited by the targets of your slander? I never slander. I inform. Well, thank you, you Futis. The consequences of these. A couple of ciders. Before. That'll do. Those words sound like a threat, Mr. Holmes. I never threaten. I merely warn. You don't frighten me, Mr. Holmes. I know all of your little secrets. Soon, all of London will find out what really hides behind the facade of the impeccable detective. Thanks to my work, the whole world will discover the true Sherlock Holmes. Do they know of my opium addiction? Because that's no secret. I don't wish you a good day. Ooh. That's about as close to a fuck you as the British get. Even to the point of refusing to shake our hands. Which means that we can avoid having to wash them. Did you notice the crumbs on his jacket? He had just finished eating, and his hands will be covered in grease, the same as his mouth. Slovenly habits. That's quite disgusting, Holmes. Do not be deceived, Watson. The workmanship in those tailor-made clothes indicate that he is a man who takes pride in his appearance. If Farley has left without brushing off his jacket or washing his hands, then it is because he spotted our approach and wished to avoid us at all costs. But why? So wouldn't there be a back door? By searching his office. The secretary will stop you. Please reassure me, Holmes. You don't intend upon knocking her out? Because I want to. Exhaust every other viable alternative. 
But here, take this knife just in case. The secretary is occupied in sending a telegram via their electric telegraph. Farley asked that she should <laughs> do so before he left. We must find a way of interrupting the transmission, which will oblige her to go to the telegraph office in Kensington. It will take her some time to get there, and if we add on the time it takes to send the telegram and then return here, we should have ample time to search the office without being disturbed. I suppose it's unnecessary to point out the illegality of this search. Oh, it's the most fun part. Now, you keep her busy while I set the charges. This hanger has a large iron hook. We must find a way. Watson, you set the building on fire. We must. Hot tea! It's still oh, it's coffee. How interesting! I can hear an electrical humming. The secretary is using the electricity supplied by this switch. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Or we could just take a hammer to it. Hammer would solve a lot of problems in this game. Can we just like start touching parts of this? Because that that's okay. I get what they want me to do, but, uh... Uh-huh. Yes, it's a fuse box. Shouldn't this be a short circuit? This should be a short circuit. I, I think it would be. Alright. I guess we'll... Oh, you're right, you're right. Flip the switch. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Let us see if I can oh, it cause a short starts from there. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Okay. Let us see if I can cause a short... Yeah, 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 shut up. a short circuit I, I sometimes this <laughs> see that won't work oh. no I need that Simplicity itself. Oh, that's just too bad. Get out quickly, Watson. I'm going to hide here. It's going to blow. 
Some son of a bitch destroyed the fuse box again. Watson, you take her out. Get some garbage bags. Let's go, Watson. Filthy notepad! I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. A makeup case with a good brush. Hmm, if I do say so myself. Oh, I, I, yeah, I know. Use the brush on the thing. I must look. I must look more at... The fuck are you talking about? I can make up. I can... I must... Fucker. The page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. You can read shorthand. You never cease to amaze me. Were you a secretary before becoming the great Sher? Shut up. Perhaps, perhaps. But no, a man must have his secrets. Notes on the investigation to Sherlock Holmes Collins Collins has a visible blah. The ribbon is missing from this machine. Oh no. Here is Farley's secretary's telegram. Nothing special. Why does it have piano keys? This book has fallen down from the shelf. Bad book, naughty. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. My word, it's my stories about your investigations. A real investigative reporter must have read them, my dear. But who's this Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? Bloody hack. The a real. Yes, ah, come on, back out. My adventures have fallen from this shelf. Dime store novel rubbish. Destroy this letter. See, boy, you did a shit job of destroying your letters. This paper only just escaped the flames. But who is this note about? Me! And who wrote it? I will deal with it later. Someone closed the curtain as though he wanted to maintain his privacy. This cabinet has a lot of drawers, each marked with a letter. There is surely a great deal of information in them. But we can't open all Well, we can't. We must know what we are looking for. Uh, I give up, Holmes. A bunch of keys, a telephone. A technological marvel. A number was written next to it quite recently. A fine, educated hand. Holmes, this number seems very familiar. Yes, but let us dial it to be sure. Phone sex line. See, Jen, uh, Jenny's song would be a lot different back in the day. Eight, six, seven, five. Miss, That's get it. me one, three, one, three, please. It is Scotland Yard, of course. I'm beginning to understand. Lucky you. Hello, I'm speaking on a telephone. Our man left his sandwich unfinished. Shame for him. This armchair is out of place. Bad armchair. This ashtray is worth examining. Is it? Is it though? This ash comes from an ordinary, well-known brand of cigarettes. It is still warm. This cigar, and it is not. Sorry. Alrighty. Get out of my way. I refuse to examine that armoire. It has no relevance to this case. Yeah. I must. 
Okay, clearly. I must. I understand what you want to do. It's an old trick. But it won't work. I can see what has been written. Please write it down. Very well, Holmes. Prepare elements bio diff. I'll be quite finished here. What should we do next? This ashtray. This is and it is. I don't see there's anything else to do here. Keys. What about the keys? I wonder which drawer ah. the tree was interested ah, in. Ah, D, D, F, D, F. No, I can't. No, Nike. It, it is this one. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I The D, F drawer. Of course. The one in the Nike. message Nike. Nike. deciphered from the secretary's desk blotter. There are a lot of cards. I must find out which one was consulted last. Well... There are a lot of... Yeah, but... <sighs> what about you, Sandwich? What do you know? The secretary has just changed the typewriter ribbon. There are smudges of dark blue ink. Page of this note. You can read perhaps. Polonius? Someone. Ah, of Judging course. Judging from all the notes on the board, our reporter is an assiduous and organized worker. Of course. Okay, we're gonna miss that. The convent of Saint Anthony in the town of Lanfrapolikas will get him for killing which gun to watch a blue to look at a cock. Oh, it's Welsh. I knew it would be. I knew it was Welsh. Yeah, my Welsh is a little rusty. Yeah. Thank you, though. Here's what is strange. An attack of collective insanity. Like a My Chemical Romance concert? Coldplay? Wow! What's wrong with your head? It's like someone grafted a face four sizes too big onto a melon. A photograph of Prince Woodville. Farley is evidently also interested in this affair. Mystery surrounds the body drowned in the Thames. Yes, Lena sees that. So nothing interesting. A horrible story, and rather a strange one.
Turns out I did it. There are a lot of. I can't do. Well, just pick this one. No, it is. I can't do. I can't. I can't do. What's your problem? No, I can't. I no 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 I can't. Check the postmarks. There are a lot of. No, it is unnecessary. No, it. No, I can't. No. Look for the one no. with the blue. These blue stains come from an old typewriter ribbon. This card has been removed recently. See? Mm. Recently permitted to, to legally use the title of Prince after an investigation of the Committee of Experts for the Royal Line. I fail to see the relevance, but okay. Grease marks on it. The reporter made them. Apparently, Did he just wipe his sandwich on all his paperwork? But where do you come into all this? Look, if we pull the curtain a little, we can see out into the street. Don't sniper! Someone. Someone clothed. Well, I can't open the curtain, even though you clearly pointed me to it. Why did they point me to the curtain when I can't open it? What should we do? I, I admit, I just got lost in the weirdest places, but, um, should I leave? I cannot leave now. Well, you can, but... Someone. Someone. I thought about the deduction board. This ashtray. Again with the ashtray. Losing my patience. The key. What? The key. I don't get it. Ashtray must hold the key here. The cigar Farley was not alone when we arrived at his secretary's office. You are thinking of the owner of the cigar. Yes, the reporter smokes ordinary cigarettes. Can you smell the subtle scent of gingerbread? That is the characteristic odor of a Habano Clarissimo. Our mysterious visit. How do you is know that? This category of Havanas is exorbitant. And I cannot imagine a cigar lover crushing out such a marvelous smoke before finishing it. Since we saw no one leaving the building, or he's hiding in the cabinet, secret exit somewhere. How are we going to find it? By retracing Farley's steps from the moment before we arrived. Look, this room is teeming with clues. 
Re why? Oh. Journalist looked at a card in the cupboard. <sighs> oh, okay. I get it. Okay. There aren't six things here. I don't quite get the arrows at all. Oh, the door. Oh, there's the door. Okay, that's the last one. The journalist closed the door and left the key in the log. Forgot to lock the door. He didn't forget the secretary was in there. Secretary put the key in the lock when she was leaving. Oh. More, it seems like more like the secretary forgot to lock the door. Ah, what the f- oh, how do I- I didn't mean to do that. Then Gordon has guessed the shirt and head towards the fire piece of furniture.
Jerome's went to warn his visitor of Holmes' arrival. Yeah! Father ah! consulted a card while he ate, which Ugh. was given to him by his secretary just before she changed the ribbon on her typewriter. The reporter's greasy fingerprints are all over the card. When he went to file it away, he glanced automatically out of the window and saw us in the street. He closed the filing cabinet and rushed to lock his office door. In his haste, he pushed his chair aside, but didn't think to return it to its place. Precisely. He then hurried to tell his visitor of our arrival and showed him the way out. He then threw a piece of paper into the fireplace. Next to the but poppy pods. know how the cigar smoking visitor departed. The answer lies in the direction the reporter took, Watson. At a certain moment, he would have been in a place where he had no logical reason to be. Look at our deduction board, and then let us go to the place where the reporter should not be. But I, I didn't bring my deduction board with me. It's enormous, Holmes. I'm trapped in the closet. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perfect. Yeah, I, I figured. But... Yes, Watson. In his haste, Farley dropped this book, taking it from the shelf. Let's search this place. We have been. Ugh. There's a control box built into the filing cabinet. This box must open the secret door. We don't know the combination, Holmes. The answer is perhaps within the question, my dear fellow. That's not right. Forty ten. Six. Big wheel. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Let us go and look at this secret. <laughs> Let's 
left his hat here. Oh, mine. Chance has smiled upon us, Watson. This hat was almost certainly abandoned by our mysterious visitor. Imagine the scene. In his hurry, the cigar man drops his top hat. The door closes. The hat is caught beneath it. Fearing above all that he should be discovered, he does not attempt to retrieve it, instead preferring to flee. Who would take such action to avoid meeting us? I cannot tell as yet, but it is certain that he carries the advantage of knowing us. We must discover his identity in order to redress the balance, and this hat will help us. Aha! Let us return to Baker Street. So his typewriter came from Typewriter and Company. Brilliant. So there's no need to search this room or the obvious escape route that he took. Right? Okay. As, as long as home says we're done. No, go to Baker Street, fool. The Let's hope that an examination of this top hat will reveal to us the identity of its owner. It right. will, you can be sure of that. I have a job, you know, Holmes. I insist that you allow me to work alone, Holmes. As you wish. Take your time. Wow, Thomas, that's rude as hell. I'll examine this hat at my work table. Like, fuck you, Thomas in the chat room. I will examine this hat. All right, hat, start talking. This hat is of an exceptional quality. The man who owned it is wealthy. Uh -huh. His hair is graying, and judging by the odor, he puts camphor on it. He is probably in his early 50s. Heat marks, and a strong smell of tobacco. A cigar smoker, which confirms that this hat belongs to the reporter's visitor. This hat was made to measure by a well-known hatter located near the Old Bailey. Slight scratch marks. His hat was itchy. Sli the man wears glasses, and whenever he puts them on, he grazes the sides of his hat. This would suggest that he is educated and long-sighted rather than short-sighted. Someone has changed the ribbon for another, more modern one, which shows a certain taste for current fashions. Not a mistress, but someone who pays attention to details. This man is married. I now have an excellent description of the man that I am looking for. Me! The journalist's mysterious visitor is in a profession highly placed on the social scale. He is rich and married. He must have called Scotland Yard in Farley's presence. He frequents the law court. Frequents? Which he makes his purchases. This man is a judge. Let us look through my files to see if I can identify this judge. It's a reach, I have a memoir Holmes. On the most influential judges. To search your room, Watson. Oh my god, the porn. It's not a magazine, that's a hardcover book. I have found my file. Uh -huh. I must place it on my work table. I can't read standing up, it would be wrong. I have found Oh Christ. Uh, this is the entire book is like this. It's organized by what kind of hats they wear. <laughs> so just well, just because this guy wears a hat here doesn't mean these guys don't wear hats. They're in their judges' outfits. Can't see his hand. I want to see his hand. 
Hey, wait, there's no cigar there. Look, if, if you look at this guy's hand, the guy in the middle, there's no cigar there. But now, oh, there's nothing there. I mean, what the hell is that? Don't quite see what I'm missing on this one. Pretty obvious it's this guy, right? That's not right. What? Oh fuck. I don't see any cigar on this guy. I just don't know what I'm looking for beyond this. Ah. Uh, right. It is you, him. You can see George my Beckett. You can see my problem is that the main photo does not have a cigar. But when you, you have to... This hat belongs to Sir Coots Beckett, a judge of the court at the Palace of Justice in London. Yeah, this will hold up in court. A judge? Wait, did you say Sir Beckett? That name rings a bell. Um, yes, that's it. What an extraordinary coincidence. Extraordinary! I was reading something about him in the Globe Explorer only this morning. Decidedly, this Beckett seems to have solid ties with the gutter press. I bought it from a rascal who ran off without giving me my change. <laughs> I'm sure that I've seen him before, and... Spare me the details, Watson. Show me the article. Puppy! I don't mind telling you, this game is boring the piss out of me. So... Lady Beckett is on holiday in Portsmouth. That means her husband is at home alone. Good. We shall pay a courtesy call, Watson. With a little luck, we shall leave with a few Habanos Clarissimo. Um. That you should interest <laughs> the judge of the High Court isn't surprising. You have solved so many criminal affairs that there are a thousand Give me a minute. reasons why a magistrate should be interested in you. But why should this one feel the need to act in shadows? It's true that it's surprising. Perhaps he simply wishes to avoid being seen in the company of this Farley fellow. Farley Mr. fellow. Our local postman owes me a favor. He'll give me Beckett's address. At this hour, he should still be at the post office. I'll go there, Holmes. Good, Watson. But be quick about it. While you're gone, I'll make preparations for our visit. <laughs> oh, come on. So cool ah! I've got the address. We can go round after a nice cup of tea. How much time oh, passed? Too comfortable, Watson. We're leaving immediately. But hot tea! Okay. Observe. Chessboard, right? Presuming they push the chairs aside, this chair goes here. This chair goes here. They have ch they have set the chessboard up improperly. It's just wrong. Because nobody would sit with their back to a fire. So the chairs obviously were not set up this way. Unless they wanted to set their own ass on fire. But 
White square should be in the lower right corner. Sherlock. They turned the table? Why would they do that? I was in chess club for several years. And that's not a joke. This is the front of Judge Beckett's property. It's enormous. It looks very luxurious, Holmes. This man has conducted his career brilliantly. Brilliant. He says that crime doesn't pay. It all depends upon for whom. You never said a truer word, Watson. I wasn't never listening, but I'm sure it was way. true. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. No, leave it. I'll do it. You stand here and hold my package like you always do. No reply. The house seems empty. Shall we wait, Holmes? No. We shall enter discreetly. The judge's absence is a blessing. It means that we can investigate without being disturbed. Get the battering ram. Breaking into the judge's house? Have you gone mad, Holmes? Ah, uh, the flower lady is looking right at us. Remove any traces of our visit. Listen to yourself, Holmes. You're talking like a common criminal. This isn't what I signed up for. Impossible. You saw nothing. Do you understand? Nothing. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. How nice to see you again. Do you remember me? Of course, <laughs> Miss Lucy. How could anyone forget so pretty a smile? You are looking lovely. You stand no chance, Watson. Do. Holmes, you remember Lucy? We met her during our last investigation in Whitechapel, on the trail of Jack the Ripper. I remember only the essential details. Yes, yes, Jack the Ripper, this prostitutes, throat-cutting, mailed the organs to the police. Yes, whatever. I'll leave you, my dear Lucy. I'll see you soon, Doctor. Must you bring up the Ripper thing? Oh my god, that was so boring. Aha! Uh -huh, unlocked. Means we can go in. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. Smash! Pin, Watson. Can you find me one? Very well, Holmes. <laughs> I need a, anyone know where I can find a supple pin? No, not not a rigid one, a supple one. I'll pay you sixpence for it. Ah, oh, Lucy, you have no idea how heartlifting it is to meet you here like this. She's out of your league, Watson. Tell me what you've been doing. You've become a florist. Oh yes, Doctor, I am a florist. And I'm married now with beautiful little twin girls. Beautiful little twin girl. Congratulations, Lucy. Enough about me. Can I help you with something? A pretty bouquet, perhaps? Not at the moment, Lucy. I really need a supple metal stem. <laughs> a plant prop should do. Oh, I see. Is it to open a door or a window? Yeah, no. No, why? Ah, Lucy, you are a surprising lady. No. Let's just say that the lock on the door to my flat gets stuck. I should like to get in through the window. In that case, a prop wouldn't work. Better to use a hair grip. It's the ideal tool for an honest man who wants to get into his house without going in through the door. Lucy intrigues me. Goodbye, Doctor. Me thinks Lucy is more than she seems. I need a supple... Very yes! Well, I, I got it, right? But it's not selected in your inventory. Here you are, Holmes. Perfect. Now, you may go lay down, Watson. Go, go, go lay down. This lock should be... Says who? Ah, 
Ah, yes. That's not right. That's not. That's not. Ah, oh. That was my elbow. Good, we can pass. Uh, that's the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Ah, uh, that's yes, according to the newspaper. The judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them. That's my game in hand. <sighs> Cabbage and bread. What a delightful English meal. Cooking. What are you looking at, pumpkin? There is something interesting here. Not really. An ore lock. This isn't the place for it. It should be with the other ore locks. This classroom yeah. is magnificent. These children are very lucky. What's this? It seems we have a point. Ooh, a Catholic beaten stick. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Yoink! He won't be missing it. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. <laughs> uh. No, get out. Oh. Wonder what the meanings of these strange symbols could be. Isaac Newton stole the calculus. That's a historian joke that I don't mind saying just went probably right right over everyone's head. This woman hmm. is admirable. As she was an Hey, it's the, it's the the crocoduck. decided to care for hundreds of others. See? This yeah. screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. Use a little muscle there, Holmes. Come on. This screw. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children. Ancient Greek. Yes, Leibniz. Very good, Zwax. You get a gold star. You are an educated man or woman. Either way, you have my respect. What? Find a logical sequence in Roman numerals using all the available shafts. <laughs> yes, I'm too, I'm second grade. None of the numbers should be greater than 10. Each sum must be larger than the previous one. You can use the number X only once.
None of the numbers should be greater than 10. Each sum must be larger than the previous one. No, I want... No. Okay. Uh, four, five. Oh, I gotta use all of them. Okay. This is where it gets annoying. Turning him, I don't want that. No, not... no. That isn't it. Five, six, seven, nine. That should be it. That fits the solution. And I used all the shafts. Reverse the last panel? No, it doesn't make sense that way. It doesn't work. Yeah, but it's okay. The 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 sums have to be b bigger than the previous one. So it doesn't have to be numerically. It doesn't have to be in exact order. But none of the numbers are greater than ten. Each sum is larger than the previous one, and I used the number ten. I I used X only once. Hit the button. What button? It's not a logical sequence. Logical sequence. Fuck. All right.
Ah! Oh, God. Thank you, manga. <sighs> Logical sequence. How? What? I... Okay. I, I won't... Fine. Good. Good. I'm done playing with my shafts anyway. The door handle has been removed. Catastrophe! The door... The door... What do we do? It just, yeah, just want you to stay there and help there. Good. Sweet papers fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. A pupil's? Let's cut it open. This overall belongs to the young James. Ah, of the famous Jameses. I see nothing interesting there. This plan is useless. <laughs> it's like a deduction board, only lame and pathetic. My deduction board is way better. A book about student organizations in the United States of America. Future bathroom reading? Quit shaking it. The most romantic evening of all my life. Oh, the love we made. He looks like he's having a great time. In the heat of Bombay. Bangkok, Oriental City, what the city don't know. There is some connection between cities and numbers on top of the box, but I lack the necessary information to obtain the solution. What, you? Nonsense. This screw. Oh, come on. What screw? Break the screw. This screw is... Bastards. Use the book and smash the case. The do the do what the fuck is with the door handle? Ah. Uh. A hole in the room here! Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? I... 
I would like to read it. How do I do that? It, it's apparently it's none of my business. Would the little joker who's borrowed the sweet cupboard's door handle please return without delay? If the handle is back in place for the end of the week, no one will be punished. There are naughty children in every school. Naughty. What I can see. There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know I just know that. I know you took it, you little bastard. Watson, calm down, man. God. Jesus. I don't see the screw he refers to. Kick the... There's no other photos. Uh-huh. Hello? A blurry picture of a... They've taken my Orlocks. Suddenly we are, like, very, very invested in the fate of Orlocks. That was fascinating. A president from Lord Benegard to Miss Beckett as a keepsake on the blessed day of your marriage. It must have a special meaning for Miss Beckett. No. Wedding ring. Yay. Uh, is, are we done then? It is a wedding. Because, yeah. Am I just completely out of my mind here? Or... Perfect. Yeah. There we are. I forget. Simplicity the English don't know how to tell time. The door. 
Okay, what else was locked? Ah! Oh my god, hole in the room. We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? No, you are. That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. I think Holmes has gone quite mad. Well, I'm leaving. Somebody says I forgot something in the kitchen. I believe them. A desire to cook. Well, I found it before, but it wouldn't let me take it. An orlock. Orlock. That's three. Don't forget your cakes. With of course, Watson. It's not cakes. It's a severed head. This what? Oh shit! The deuce which fraternity Judge Beckett was a member of. The list of symbols of the American universities. Okay. The list of symbols. Yeah, 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 I got it. The list of. I don't see anything here. Nothing that makes sense to me. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. Holes. These. I am miss. I am missing some. I. Clearly, you're missing some information. Nothing but trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. Cigar. Busted. Nothing of interest here. A Habano. Blind justice. From whence his ignorance? Amusing. His <laughs> droll. This door is very solid. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. Watson, this really is the most ingenious system. Uh. It controls the opening mechanism. <laughs> very ingenious. It's the do bathroom, though. To enter. Judge Beckett is very rich, and the room perhaps only holds valuable objects which he wishes to protect from thieves. Exactly. The doors are made to be opened, my dear fellow. The list of symbols. The list of. Yes, yes, I know. The list. This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. 
My success is constant. Three, fourteen. This no This note. I am missing... Don't forget your... Of course. The judge used to row. No shit. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. Beckett, honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. He just ripped it off the wall. A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. Just rip. I am miss. How the? I am. List <clears throat> of symbols. The. The list. The list. This note must. I am. I'm feeling good, thank you. Kill us. Jesus. Sweet, sweet pig. This oh, sweet. The black. This screw is. Frustrating. The door. It's a sweet box. Yeah. One of the Greek books is open. Perhaps the subject of the last lesson. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet. Perhaps, reason, perhaps the myth of Sisyphus? Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, we will find the handle. Help him find his handle. desk belongs to James. Tedious. Oh, come on. I did these in ELP class. Ah. The row leaders are represented by a flag. Others have small image, of course. What's their task?
Oh, I, Jesus, okay. Help her integrate, she sits on the left side of Ophelia. You surprised me saw an airship in the sky. Oh, he's near a window. Ah, fucking Put him in the back behind Fergus, who is as tall as him. Oh, God. There's Lloyd. Would have stopped any problems by putting him here in my desk behind Anastasia and next to little Elmer. Well, oh, this is. I keep complaining, I know, but. Wait, shouldn't all the red. Oh, red, red, kids, red. Yes. Sorry. All the blue ones should be in the blue place. Put in the first row between my desk and the board. Orson's. She is in his field of vision, and it disturbs him. By appointing to care for storage of the youngest group of books. He's, no. Uh. Sorry if I fall silent. It's just, oh my god. This guy, I don't know about. This guy's weird. Uh. 
Addy likes to sit by the window. Or is that the window? What is this? That's the door. I might be coming up with something here. Hey, alright. It approves. Well, hi, Mark. Let's see, you're not to the kitchen. Hey, I did it. I did it. Louisa will be in charge of all the books. Young Damien is very smart, aside from being possessed by the devil. I'll just put him on the left side of the table to allow him to write comfortably with his left hand. Row leader, middle row, Justin. Leader kitchen line, Taylor. An empty place on the right. Who did I screw up? Open James's desk. Had to make it a fucking adventure. Ah. Uh, it's worth noting I didn't actually pay attention to which one it was. Of the classroom. I see. Little thieving bastard. Wouldn't think to look in the desks, would you? Maybe they shouldn't keep candy in the classroom. The Is it worth it? Will we find out? Sweet box. Probably for rewarding good pupils. Uh, can we have some? I deserve some sweets. Greek book. That's that's neat.
I got a, a Greek book. This note must show. The list of sim. The list of symbols. Ah, come on, shut up. Yeah, I know. Oil can. The black book. Ah! What do you get out of my way? I'm trying to. Greek letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Asshole. This note must Secret Hitler no. Quiet. This note. A Greek. No. No. I am miss I am I am miss What could we possibly be missing? Oh!
Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I get it. They can only pivot on certain directions there. And snap! The job's a game! Murder! I don't want to go in the murder room. Incredible. Masses and masses of files. An early bat cave. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. But that's my job! So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And the Cthulhu affair. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. He's blown away. Ford, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? He's the Seven Killer. From the movie Seven, which hasn't been made yet. Quiet. Let me concentrate. Concentrate. Shut this up. Has a reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you. And you talk of concentration. Yes. In his chest. To what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know? Bam. What we were going to find before we came here. Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and mis- Well, I won't stand for it anymore, Holmes. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. Well, I'll, I'll just, just go clean your trousers and then that, that's the end of it, Holmes. We're finished. He's got a map of my apartment. That is creepy. Oi. Yeah, I'll group your balls by color. I don't even know what that means. There's only three colors, though. Per square. What does that mean? What, what's square? I gotta get my blue balls together.
This isn't tedious at all. Oh no. Ah, crap. This is a bummer. I, I was close and now I'm fucking it all up. That's the thing. Oh my god, I might have it, I might have it. There, I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. No! It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried Oh, uh, Watson? It, Holmes. Watson? It was the only thing that interested you. Don't pretend like you've grown a spine, man. Later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position. <laughs> That's not the first time he's told Watson to put the paddles back in their original position. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house immediately. What? But be quick, man, it's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. No. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You wait. No, don't talk to him. Judge Beckett. Yes, it's him. Let's go and talk to him. Let's turn ourselves in. It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes. But I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm You'll have to him. kill him, Holmes. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. 
I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop. Click. Me. Oh no! Sacrifices have to be made. Remember those cakes? Lucy. Oh, Lucy, poor girl. I must do something. You're a doctor. I need your help here. No. Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here. Holmes. Ha! You murderous, no, treacherous bastard! As well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. Why, I might have been mildly upset at him! Oh, Miss Lucy, hanging between life and death. Luckily, I was able to place her in good hands. But how the devil did Holmes know that a bomb was about to go He brought off? the bomb in. He seems to have taken advantage of the tragedy. No more Judge Beckett. No more compromising documents. No more proof. There is nothing at all. That's because he's not Sherlock Holmes. A fountain pen, just like the rat killers. Today, that dangerous maniac is free. And what's more, it is Holmes's fault. That inquiry at Westgate was a total failure. You, you've been played, dude. Donkey, what do you think? Loyal Toby. Holmes would have shown us, wouldn't he? Kurtz's pipe. So, Holmes took it with him. No shit. I wonder if he would have fired at those fiends in the opium den. A few days ago, such doubts would never have crossed my mind. But today, I find myself asking if he could have killed in cold blood. Do you think so, Toby? All these tasty biscuits and hot tea left unattended so long. It turns out Sherlock was behind all of them. I believe in Sherlock Holmes. I must dress in something sexy. I shall find a place to look casual and yet annoyed. The paper Holmes used to wrap that mysterious package that he left at the judge's house just a few minutes before the explosion. These events have shattered my nerves. But you just said you didn't want to sleep. Or at least... I'll go put on my sleeping suit. Ah! Oh dear. I, I, I'm in my grey nightmare again. There you are. I was poisoned. By who? Ah. You know him very well. Boy, you somebody nod at your leg there, pal. I'm having a freak out. I need my meds. I need water. Ease my pain. Who did this to you? Ha! Is that Lucy? Lucy, you are wounded. I can't find my children, Doctor. Find them for me. But I beg you, keep them away from Mr. Home. Lucy. Ask me if there's water in hell. Let me help you. You are so kind. It is too late for me, but 
You can still say it. Liberate! Tutame! I knew you were in there! Holmes! Open this door immediately! I think that I would rather not. I would prefer not to. I need to know. You have no Bartleby the Scrivener. Have you have you read that? Open the pod bay door, Holmes! The door is not locked. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing? No! Holmes! No. Tears were his little pajamas. Oh dear, I've wet my pajamas again. How will I explain this to Mrs. Hudson. What's going on? Yes, right. yes, just I'll one moment. I'll oh, he's set Watson up. He's a patsy. Oh, jeez. Dr. Watson, is Mr. Holmes. What's all this then? What? Is he here or not? No, I do not believe so. Open the door, quickly. Uh, let me go. go. Look at me go, vroom. Also regarding your movements early yesterday evening. Well, I had one yesterday, but... It's empty, Inspector. Get dressed. We're leaving in two minutes. Yes, I'm coming. I'll do all I can to help you. I would also like to find the answers to some of my own questions. Sergeant, I'd like you to stay here with some of your men and search the place from top to bottom. Oh, the place, the stuff you'll find here. Lead me to him, and I want you to find it. So ashamed I had a, a dream. I'm sorry about situation but if as we believe Holmes is a murderer I won't hesitate to arrest him what did you say a murderer quite you heard me doctor the bishop's murderers informed us that they were following orders from Sherlock Holmes so well that's wow they took their job seriously. They and his men have ransacked the place during my interrogation. They ransacked it proper. I would never have imagined that I should be put through such an ordeal. I have always fought on the side of justice. And our chess game is ruined. for hours like a common criminal, having to proclaim my innocence over and over again. And the cavity searches. He is convinced that Holmes is guilty, but who can blame him? Everything seems to point to him. I had thought that the worst was behind me. But here I am, as a suspected accomplice. Talking to myself. All I need to do is to find Holmes. And when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. I... I will decide to... the heck out of him. Some clues. Why, he'll not see... He'll, he'll not have seen such deciding in his life. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. And all the biscuits are ruined. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. These pants have held their shape quite well. The dog has been killed! Uh -huh. <laughs> nope, he doesn't know. It, that little picture back there is like a stick figure drawing of the safety dance. This oh, thank good my picture of daddy's survived. Ugh, what a smell. It reeks of tobacco. This disgust. This dis Yes, I. This bust was used to fool Colonel Moran during the case of the empty house. Well, it's the biggest bust I've ever seen. This dis. <laughs> that's his. That's his uh, Tom Atkins disguise right there. Yeah. This disguise. Nails. Holmes's tobacco. 
That ain't all he's smoking. Oh, there must be a false bottom. I need something thin to prize it up. Perhaps this nail I conveniently just found. Hello, Irene. At this moment, you mean everything. Photo of Irene Adler, the woman, according to Holmes. That's not the only picture. You were like some of his French girls. A letter addressed to Zachariah Dossett, the clergyman. But what is that doing here? It's a rent reminder. But why should Holmes be concerned about that? He has to pay his rent. Holmes is Victoria Cross. Oh, is that supposed to be a photo? Wow, uh, cameras were... Uh, they were low-tech. Another letter. This one for a certain Escott. Who could that be? Escott this Fitzgerald. This Escott must be a worker in the building. A letter addressed to a clerk of the court. Why in heaven's name has Holmes got that? And a picture of a cannon. This letter is addressed to a naval captain. My goodness. All these carefully hidden envelopes were addressed to Holmes under various identities. The addresses are therefore those of his hiding places. Holmes has never told me about them. I suppose that he goes there regularly and discreetly to pick up his mail. What? What bitch work he doesn't assign to you? Time by going to each of these addresses. I must refine my research. But Watson actually having to rely on his own initiative and knowledge to, to solve cases? We are so screwed. I don't know how to think on my own. I've never had to before. What what do you do when you think? Baines's men have more or less spared my bedroom. How kind of them. Oh, oh, no. Look what they left on the mattress. Oh, oh dear. Hopefully they didn't find my stash of carefully drawn Asian porn. Okay, well there's nothing here worth remarking on, I guess. Here is where I write my stories about Holmes's cases, and I've got work to do. Better get to it then. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Whoops. This dis This Okay, how do I refine my my deduction here to deduction board? Nope. What do you know, pigeons? Help me. I'm missing something. Why was there a ding? What you mean ding? This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. Wait, what? What is that in the corner? What is that? What does?
This intense music is freaking me out, man. This disgust. Brilliant, thank you. What? It's just gonna get this disguise, though, don't you? What? What? I'm stuck. Holmes was wearing yesterday. Holmes has left his tweed suit here. He left his so tweed? He came back to change after he left me in front of Judge Beckett's house, just after the explosion. Knowing that Scotland Yard is looking for him, he will likely have changed into one of his disguises. I just need to know which one. The best thing to do is proceed by elimination. I will use the wardrobe in the sitting room to reconstruct it. Take his pants. Take his leather pants. Is this really necessary? I'll leave the tweed there. Yeah, I know. To do switch disguise is missing. Well, obviously I'm still missing a coat. Where's the, where's the other coat? They won't, oh, will let me take that one. Or will it? No. No, it won't let me take that coat. That's the tweed he was wearing. Here we go. That's what it is. a hat too. Yoink.
I fail to see the point of this. Steel toad doesn't make sense. Ah, shit. Oh, the letters. Oh, shit, come on, stop it, stop it. name to the right disguise. <clears throat> I must put Okay, what's wrong with that? I think I had it right before. Did it again. I must put. I must put. I must. I'm clearly. I must. Put. Mm. Yeah, you're right, the shoes. But... I must pull. See, those look like... I don't, I don't know what I, what I mean by that, but... <laughs> they look like priest shoes. No, I think I had it right before. Keep, I keep clicking out of the the cabinet, you know what I mean? where that one is that it's obvious that one is obvious You know, th those those are where they belong, I think. There. Now. It seems that something in this disguise is missing, but I'm not sure what it might be. It was the jacket.
Yep. Perfect. Now I know what Holmes looks like. Well, you don't. Know where to search for him. You know what he doesn't look like. You you know exactly what he does not look like. It would be better if I took some money before leaving. One can buy a lot of things with notes in Whitechapel. Like things and food and other things. Dude, if there was money here, the cops took it. You want to give me a hint as to where you kept your cash, bro? He does not. Losing my patience. Do you know where I could find some money, Toby? What about you, Harpoon? Ah! Shillings! Uh, my, my money! Ah. Someone has emptied my wallet! I always keep a little money in it. The police can't have stolen it. It's impossible. Crooked policeman? Last night I was too tired to think. But now I have to face the truth. I don't think so. Holmes stole my money. I don't think he did. Like any common low-down scoundrel. <laughs> now it's time to take a piece out of his ass, right? <laughs> what a filthy blackguard. Oh, Lucy, how I failed you. The address of Holmes's hideout, Six Bucks Row. If I wish I had six bucks. Holmes took my money! Are you Lucy? You look just like Lucy. I'm on the streets with my children, all of them babies. Bread for pity's sake, sir. Looks just like Lucy, I swear. Some people went crazy. They attacked our police carriage and stole the horse which was pulling it to eat it. Go home. It's dangerous here. The one of them bit my arm. You ain't from round here. You shouldn't stay here. It ain't healthy. Uh, what's happening? Well, here it is. It looks like a boarding house. Can't knock on all the doors. Holmes will hear me and escape. As I've the advantage of surprise, I'd better use it. Should dress like a woman. Oh, but I ah! met you, you with the mustache. I met you back when Jack was cutting up all those girls around here. So you've come back to do some slumber. Nah, I'm here to see you, big stuff. Danny, you are no longer, um, uh, I mean, you've given up the, uh... Knocking the filthies? Yes, my dear, I've given it up. Sorry, are you? I'm the manager of this boarding house now. I rent out rooms. Uh, that is exactly why I am here. I'm looking for someone who... He's not here. You don't even know who I'm talking about. Perhaps not, but he's not here anyway. You should understand that my tenants come here for peace and quiet. Quiet and discreet, my hotel is. Just like me. And I, Danny the Anvil, 11 times champion of male wrestling in Whitechapel, I guarantee their peace and quiet. I really must insist. It's very important. You want a shot at the title, mate? You know that I'm a doctor, and that is why I'm here. I'm looking for one of your tenants, a workman. He's suffering from a rare form of tooth loss syndrome. 
an illness he contracted from the lead steam in the factory where he works. Tooth wopsy? Tooth loss syndrome, a very rare pathology. A path of what? Uh, <coughs> well, an illness that weakens the gums and causes the teeth to fall out. And you're here to put his teeth back in? No, of course not. Uh, may I come in? I must examine him. Fiddle sticks. I haven't seen any of my lodgers ill. Not I yet. I don't believe you. But you're going to see some teeth spitting all over the place. You don't understand. His condition is extremely contagious. I must take him away with me. Yeah, yeah. And if he croaks, I'll pay for his room. He owes me for the month, see? How do you know? I haven't mentioned who I'm talking about. Or else you'll lose your teeth without being ill. I warn you, if you don't let me in, I will come back with the police. Think about it. You're a grass as well. Cross this door and I'll knock your head off. Then we'll see whose side you're on. Take her on. You can take her. Mrs. Anvil, I work for the government. And now the story completely changes. And your establishment. Tough luck, ducky. I make my own law here. I walk. You're a so I, I can just change my story, like, radically. I'm looking for one of your tenants. I'll give you something for your trouble, of course. All right, get your wallet out. I, I'll I pay you this penny. Me, but I can give you what I have. As an advance, of course, and the rest. The rest? Do you think I'm the queen or something? Get lost. None of these is going to work. Dear lady. I'm a biographer <laughs> and also an artist. Your hotel is quite exceptional. Uh, I would like to put it on canvas and perhaps write about its history. Yeah. Which I'm sure must be fascinating. If you're drunk, you better go and sober up somewhere else. All right, I'm a hologram from the future, and I must warn you an impending catastrophe. You are so very unique. I would like you to permit me to sketch your portrait. My poor portrait? What for? It's always a good idea to have a portrait of... Wow, he is going to jar like one of his French girls. Show your friends. Uh, I hope we get to right. see it. I'm lovely, aren't I? Come on, I'll do your portrait too. Or oh, whatever. But I don't think your friends will recognize you afterwards. <laughs> Madam, I have found you at last. I'm one of your greatest admirers. Are you having me on or what? Uh, well, would I, would, I, would I lie at this point? No. I assure you, I have followed your career for years. I have seen nearly all of your fights. Yeah, and you'll be part of the next one if you don't clear off out of my You world. can take her! You know, to uh, and you know, fit. I I can't I can't back out of this. I'm not I don't I'm stuck in this conversation. Dear lady, would you permit me to visit? It would enable me to describe your establishment in the fullest of detail. It's not a museum. And do you think that I look like a curator? Are you? You? What for? Yeah, that's true. If those big cows can have theirs done, why not me? How did that work? The light here isn't good for artwork. Let me see some of your rooms. Perhaps we will find a better light without disturbing your tenants, of course. Don't worry about that. Ugh. Most of them are out this time of day. And if they're not happy about it, I'll explain it to them gently. If you see what I mean. I'm sure that they will understand at once. I just yeah, need a minute to get yourself in more comfortable. Ah. Here would be perfect. A splendid place. Ah, I've just had a wonderful idea. Why don't I paint your portrait with you wearing your stage costume? What? Yes, I think it would be difficult for me to capture you correctly if you are dressed in your everyday clothes. They are too 
elegant. I should lose his clothes then. Right. I'm gonna be great, and it will remind me of the old days. Oh, but I left my costume with a pawnbroker so that I could buy some of that lovely pear smelling perfume. Well, we'll have to do without a costume then. <laughs> Very well, off you go. While I'm waiting, I shall concentrate and soak up the atmosphere here. All right, but don't touch anything. The bloke that rents this room isn't very easy going. You'll have enough time. The pawnbroker's shop isn't close by. What a mess. <laughs> That's Holmes, all right. This place is nicer than most college apartments. A sheet of blotting paper. I'll just stretch out on the bed then. Splimer, which, which what angle do you want me? Like in penthouse. A few files, books about criminal cases, the books Holmes usually reads. <laughs> Tobacco, and a lot of it. Yeah, works for me. There's the opium. That's a nice big jar of heroin. Well, he left a fire going. That's not dangerous. So. Liquid reagents. A large quantity of it. The same as at Baker Street. Holmes uses it for cleaning objects before he analyzes them. And inhaling, you know. Yeah. A microscope. But the hot tea! A pipe. There we go! And judging by the smell, Holmes has used it recently. So he doesn't disguise himself at all when he goes out. Holmes's coat and deer stalker. What a letter from Holmes? He's breaking up with me. These crystal glasses are magnificent. This suitcase is closed with handcuffs, which in turn are attached to the sofa. They're usually attached to that lady. These handcuffs are extremely solid. You need a code as well as a key to open them. Or bolt cutters. Something. Well, I can't even just try numbers. Apparently, this suitcase holds something which Holmes believes to be important. I must open it. It could be the chance you know, to find out the truth about his intentions. You really could just rip the handle off. Apparently, Holmes is packing his suitcase. What do you know, Fern? A nice plant. I'm surprised that Holmes has taken care of it. I'm discovering new sides to his personality. Mostly murderous ones. Each of these scores bears a piece of music by a different composer. Holmes wanted to learn them all. There's Mozart, Beethoven, Paganini. Salieri, Liszt. A violin. Holmes often plays. It helps him to think. But it's out of tune and the sound is horrible. Holmes must have become annoyed with it. That happens quite often. No stairway. Dirty water. Holmes must have washed something here. But I left that dirty water. How many coats does Holmes have? The answer is a lot. Holmes must have smoked his pipe while reading the newspaper. It's all blurry and pixely. A pipe. And yeah, I know. The... What? Ah, now it's clear. As for the newspaper, it's only one page with a curious article containing musical notes. This is what Holmes was reading without any doubt. Why? What do these notes mean? 
a mic. Analyzing material. There is no doubt about it. Everything would suggest that Holmes has been using this hiding place for a long time. This pot is empty. Damn it. Even if the note Wait. Even if the notes on the page are simple, this untuned violin isn't going to help me. These crystal glasses might help me reproduce the notes in the newspaper. If you say so. Music? It's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> These handcuffs are extreme. Hey, what about Beethoven's fifth? I don't I don't follow you, my friend. No way. There, I found the score corresponding to Beethoven's fifth symphony. There is a strange stain on Let's inspect the strange stains. This stain more closely. an inscription. It wasn't there by any accident. I need a reagent for cleaning the stain. Liquid reagents, a large quantity of it, the same as at Baker's. That was easy. Holmes uses it for clean. I got that part, yeah. This reagent is too strong. Something Good. The reagent is weaker now. There. Beautiful. I'll have to clean all this up now. Made quite a jolly mess. I need... What do you need? his hands here. Therefore, he must have been searching in the soil. This pot soil here I found a poopy a key now I made an icky mess these handcuffs are some excellent I found the key to the handcuffs Ah, sorry. A sheet of blotting paper. A number. A number. Yay. These hand. Open. 
Open. Sesame. A train ticket for the London suburbs for tonight. But if Holmes wishes to escape, surely he would travel further than that. Maybe he's catching another train. I don't know. Holmes, no! Blam! Ah, there you are. I've got you. Why are you walking like that? Hey, what do you want? That's enough. Take off that disguise. What disguise? I beg your pardon, young man. Hey, In a moment, man. Lost you are. Hmm? <laughs> I've seen through you. You're going to have to give me some straight answers now. I don't know who you are or what you want, but leave me alone now. I think you are mistaken, young man. Your ridiculous accent and your filthy clothes don't fool me, Holmes. And what on earth have you been eating? Your breath could kill an ox at ten paces. Right, that's it. You've got to get a thrashing of your life. Calm down, Mr. Hooper. I think that this young man may have mistaken you for somebody else. Great he warrior. Mm. He does not have a good memory for faces. On the contrary, madam, everything is crystal clear to me. Really? Well, in that case, follow me, young man. I want to show you something. Zip. What? But, madam. Please oh, here we go. You. Top's coming off. It's me. Holmes? You were almost brilliant, Watson, but once again, your last step was too wide. Take Hello! Finding this address was admirable enough. Why are you out here if it's not for hiding from Scotland Yard? I demand an explanation. You are in no position to demand anything. I found you once, Holmes. You can be certain that if you give me the slip, I'll do it again. And next time, I'll return with Baines and his men. I have absolutely no intention of leaving. Truly? So what does this train ticket mean? It's a ticket for this evening. You... you managed to open my suitcase? Enough of your lies, Holmes. Mrs. Doubtfire, please. Then, yes, I am leaving tonight. We are leaving tonight. I'm not going to let you vanish again. I won't lose you again, Holmes. If you so wish. But I should warn you that there is little chance of us both coming back alive. You shall have to wear a dress like me. For a second, and I accept the risk. Wait, 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 wait. He trusts him again? Why does he trust him now? What is going on? Are you going to explain the bomb or the murders or what? What an exhausting journey. I didn't even have time to collect my medical bag. And you haven't said a word for hours. I have been thinking. What is this place? I don't know. I can see that. But what are we going to do here? It will be more interesting to see what you are going to do. I won't bend to your will anymore, Holmes. You have gone too far. <laughs> You keep saying that, brother. Why, you keep saying it. Somebody live here? Yes, three men. Take out your revolver and try to keep them below while I search upstairs. Are they dangerous? Oh, yes. They kill us if they could. I'm going up there. Take care of them and make sure that they do not... Take care of them. Floor. Holmes, wait. I'll kill these men for you, Holmes, but then I demand some answers. As exciting as this has been, <laughs> this game is boring as hell. Oh god. I can't take anymore. Not I really can't. And the music is just the music just beats me up. I need to find something else to play. Something to break up the monotony. When the most interesting th interesting thing I've found so far is hot tea. And it just seems like there's so much that's been cut out. Like this whole intrigue where everyone thinks Holmes is a murderer. That's all kind of been forgotten. Like Watson's just... He's kind of gotten over it. He's gone back from... He's gone back from basically wanting to take a piece out of his ass to, like, begging to follow him. I, I don't know. His, his motivation is all over the place. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I've got to go. I do have some things to do that, that actually arguably are not more interesting than hot tea. <laughs> but uh, they must be done anyway. But uh, I, I, I think I shall try to return later tonight. Oh my god, not Dark Dreams Don't Die. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, not that one. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll try to think of something. As usual, I'm paralyzed by indecision, but I can do that by myself. I don't I don't need help for that. Um, but thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. You keep me company. You keep me going. So uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you again.